This is Anish and I am going to tell you this time how to add different annotations in model class but before proceeding I just want to let you know one thing in every model classes we should override has code and equals method to make it safe while parsing data into database because at the same time no ID can have same values so we have to override it with IDs for this we just have to go into the source and generate has code and equals method only with id nothing is required else for this time control s now moving towards the annotations we have different annotations in for that column different fields different values the first one what i'm going to write is column definition column definition is basically used to let the entity know that it is of where care type and the suggested value the suggested length would be 25 like this by default it is 255 and you can do like the same and restrict it to the same number for the big decimal employee salary we have precision and scale facilities apart from that we have length if we use length it will not take it will take decimal values with two precision and total scale will be 19 now we are moving with the employee salary precision precision i just want to take it with the seven digit value and the scale is the after decimal part I just want to go it with two control s now i'm going to run this in the generate query we have to change some alter some changes like if we have target dot script we can add target dot target type dot database or std Oh, std out to make it view on the console as well as on the model.sql apart from that we but after running every time we are repeating our model.sql values so we have to delete the previous one and write down the new one for that we have to use file file new file and we will write the path in this control x and control v and this is done here we will provide file dot get absolute path and while we are file dot delete apart from that we ha can have one facility to add a schema export dot format set format and we can write it through and save save now we will run our query and we will turn model.sql into our queries and now while we move we'll see that this is changes to 25 and the decimal 7 is to do further if it is we can take different annotations we have suppose for this model employee i just want to keep on an employee id for example if i wish to take an employee class uh, class employee id and I just want to embed it with different embeddable embeddable and here what I do I will take private string 
ID private string name imply name. Suppose I wish to take this and I wish to this time I will have to add to the same at column if I wish to take it as an ID I don't want to write it if I don't wish I could change it column name equals to employee name and here I can restrict it to column definition I have to first import it after that it will give us the suggestions import and after that that column definition equal to where care 250 25 ctrl s we will create this annotation create the set and getter for this generate set and getter select all okay and in the model class I will remove this as I have and I will remove the set getter what I have previously and I will also remove this and then I will write embeddable embedded ID and here I will write private employee employee and I will apply ID this will be and I will import it now I will create the hash code and since I just want to take it as my ID I will override the hash code and equals method over here generate as code and equals and this this time I just want to do with the all things and uh, uh, we are ready to move now we will proceed to generate query run Java application and now it has generated table employee you can see it has created AMP name ID MP salary with this what we missed we missed the ID part so we will move here and Model right ID control S and we will run the application. This time it will act as the primary key joined with name MP name and ID and hence you can use the embedded id if you wish to take multiple ids in our database apart from that we can use add formula suppose we was to take the maximum salary given to 
employee you can write select count asterisk from employee and here we will write private and count but we don't want to uh, save it into our database so we will take it add formula and we will not going to save this and we will generate the certificate and now we'll go to the generate query and we can generate job application this will not going to save our count in this but it will give us the data when we wish to thank you for the this time and we will move to the next annotations next time thank you